Hello and welcome to this video. And I know that Trustify, QuickBooks and TradeSaver and all these other apps are fantastic. But what if you're just starting out and you just want to do it yourself? You want to create a spreadsheet where you can easily send out your quotes and your invoices to the customers whilst collecting their details. Well, this video will show you exactly how to do that. I've created a spreadsheet where you can fill in the customer's details and all the job details once on the quote and then automatically populate for the invoice that you'll send them at the end of the job. So let me show you exactly what I've created. Right, so this is the quote template that when you first download the template, ignore all this and we're going to go through and just set up it, set the template up personally for you. So if you go to quote, the first thing you, thing you want to do is put your logo here. So as you go to insert, image an image over cells go to browse on your computer and you find the logo you want to add and then put it to the size that you want it to be at the top of your top of your quote and then edit your name so toolbox talks and obviously put your address in there as well uh, rothwell That's Kettering. Postcode. Right, so you add all this in. This might sound boring to start with, but it will help you out in the long run. So you put your phone number in there as well. So your phone number and your email. Right, so you've got your, all your details on there, ready to go. And what you also want to edit down here is to make it to make it unique to you. Put this your company name in here. And then go through to your invoice. Invoice should be automatically populated to say with toolbox talks and your email address and if we go down it should be automatically populated for toolbox talks which is your company name and your company name in here but these are the details that you want to change so your bank details which is your company Toolbox Talks, and then your bank details. And then your account number and your sort code, and obviously your VAT number, if you're VAT registered, and maybe your address, and then your email and phone number once again, so the customer can contact you if they ever need to. And then go through the quote booking. This form will also be used. So again, you want to put your logo in. So you find it on your computer once again. Do it to the certain size that you want. And then on this page as well, you also want to edit your bank details. So when the customers pay you, they know exactly how to do it, how to find your bank details. And then once you've done all that, You want to save it. So this will be saved, so it's saved unique to you. So you want to make a copy. And that copy you want to call your company. So Toolbox Talks. Template. And we'll call that. 
So now we've made a copy. And this copy is a copy of the template which we're going to use for every job we do. And this is where the magic begins. So we'll start with saying, who's the job for? So Abby Haynes. And she lives at number one High Street. And that's in Desborough. In Kettering. And a postcode NN. One, four, T, H, T, H, that'll do. And what's her email address? Her email address can be at hotmail.com. And then a phone number. And then you want to put the date in as well, the date that you're issuing the quote. So say it's the 17th of March, 2023. And then you want to continue with the description of works. What does Abby want doing? Well, she needs a fuse board upgrade. And put as much detail as you can on that quote so the customer knows exactly what you're doing. So you're going to put an eight-way board in with SPD. And then she said, while you're here, could you change them kitchen lights? Because they're a bit rubbish. No problem. So you want to replace the kitchen lights. And there's six of them. And then put on the quote as well, what sort of lights you're going to place them with. LED, cool white. And then, well, obviously on there as well, the description of works, you can detail as much work as you're going to do. You could be doing lots more work, adding, adding extra sockets to bedrooms, and things like that. So add all that work in there. Then go to your materials list, which is over here. So what materials are you going to need for that job? Well, one's going to be a board a tails kit, an SPD. What else for a fuse board change? You can need RCBOs. And then for the kitchen lights also, you're going to need the light fittings. LED. There we go. So then you detail the, the materials out what you're going to use. And what's the board going to, how many boards are you going to use? You're going to use one uh, with one tails kit and one SPD for one board. And the RCBOs, you're going to use eight of them because it's an eight-way board. And you know, because you've been there already, you're quoted, you need to fill that board up. All the spare ways, what she needs in the house. So you're going to get eight RCBOs. LED lights, you know you're going to need six because there's six lights in the kitchen. So how much do they cost? Say that board is £35.63. Uh, the tails kit is £25.30. Uh, the SPD is £45.32. It's just random numbers I'm picking out. RCBOs is £20.35. And the lights are £15.62 each. What this has done here is it's added 20% to materials. Because if you go to the wholesalers, you get a fantastic deal because you're always buying materials from that wholesaler. So they'll give you the best deal you can. But if Joe Bloggs, say your customer, went to that wholesalers, you can guarantee you that they will charge them a lot more than 20% extra of what you're charging them. So everybody puts on 20% for materials of a markup of what you get for a customer. And so the total price of that is obviously come up in this column here. But then you're saying, hang about, I'm not getting charged in any labor. That is down here. I've left it a big, wide space because you might want to label up all your sort of, any materials you using because sometimes, a lot of the times I put on sundries as well. And sundries is like your, your drills, your fixing your, and your clips. So maybe 20 pounds for a pack of sundries, which is 24 quid, which all the, the fixtures and fix, fittings and maybe the silicone or anything that you're going to use that maybe you don't want to detail. They're just things in the van. 
that you'll use all the time. A few Wagos, maybe, possibly. If it's Wagos, obviously, you want to put more on. But then how long is that going to take you? Say that's going to take you a day, and then you're going to go back the next day for a couple of hours to do some testing. So then this calculates how many hours you're spending there. One day is averaged eight hours. So that's eight hours, and then plus two, so that's 10 hours. Obviously, that's equal there. And then this works out how much you're getting paid for that job, which this is calculate calculated out at £20.50 an hour. But it depends how much you charge yourself out per hour. £20.50, don't recommend doing, doing that. So put in at least £37.50. Not 2000 odds. £37.50 an hour. That's the average rate for electrician in the UK. So £37.50 an hour. So that job's going to cost that customer £834.32p. So you've detailed it all out. You've saved all the customer's details on this form. So then whilst we're here, what you want to do is go to file and then save, make a copy and save this one as your customer's name. So Abby Haynes. So this is Abby Haynes' file now. This is her file. So anything you want to know about the job that you're doing for Abby Haynes, it is all going to be on this spreadsheet. Because if you go to the next spreadsheet, which is the quote, and if you remember earlier on, we filled out our address and our phone number. And obviously, we forgot to put the logo up there. So let's stick a logo in. Oh, no, we didn't. Logo's in there. So this is the quote. This comes from the quote from details. This is the quote that you'll actually send them. You'll send the customer. So it's automatically populated the date and all the customer's details on there. And obviously the description of works, it's automatically populated on there as well. And the total of what the quote's going to cost. So it's £834.32p plus VAT, which if you're not VAT registered, you can just delete that. And then down the bottom of the quote, thank you for the request, requesting the quote from Toolbox Talks, which will be your company. If you would like to go ahead with a quote and book in a date for the work to be carried out, please reply to this email and we'll just send you the next steps, what you need to do to complete the booking. And the, the, to send them this, if you just go to file and then download, and you download it as a PDF, and that PDF file is exactly what you'll send to the customer attached to one of your emails. So then after they've accepted it and said, yes, please, we'd like you to do that job if you wouldn't mind. And I send this to customers that maybe I haven't met before. Maybe that I don't know very well and I want to make sure that they're going to pay me. So I ask for a, a, minimum, a minimum fee of £50 is what I charge to get called out to do a look at a job. But some people, if you ask for payment, they might go, well, if I'm going to start paying you now, then I might as well pay the whole lot up front, which is fine. Let them do that. That's cool. But then on there here, this is the sheet as well, which you'll send them saying, right, thanks for contacting my company, Toolbox Sorts for Electricians, to carry out the work. And that we, this is to show them what you need is just an initial payment. You've got their details, and this is the payment. This is the bit of paper to show that you've booked in the work. Then you're asking for a 10% deposit just to get the confirmation of the booking. And this will be easily downloadable as well with a PDF. You just go to a PDF and then send them that. Because sometimes if they're not prepared to pay you 10%, you're going to struggle to get your full payment. So they should be happy with paying you 10%. Or there's sometimes, a lot of times, what happens with customers that I have is that they say, right, we'll just pay you a lot now. And this is all automatically populated from the original input that we put in on the quote with Abby Haynes and Abby Haynes' email and a phone number. Because if you look, if you go back to the quote detail, say you put in... A Abby Rose Haynes, that'll automatically change it, Road Haynes. So it will automatically change it here as well. So it'll change all the details quite simply. And then 
on your invoice because you filled it all out, it's automatically changed it all on there as well with the email. And then obviously it's given a total £834.32p with the VAT. But again, if you're not VAT registered, you can just delete this. And then at the bottom of this, what we did before, because we saved it, we changed all our account number and sort code so people, the customers can find us easily enough to pay us. All we need to do is change everything where it says your company on the original one to your to your company name, and they'll know exactly who to pay. And the beauty with this is you can save it on Google Drive. So when you've completed the job, you can go on your phone in the van, just like on Trustify or or QuickBooks, and you can send email the, the invoice that same day. You can email them the invoice while you're in the house. You can say, right, give me five minutes. I'm just going to send you the invoice now, and then we can go through payment. And this is the simple enough way to get paid quicker and to save you time doing paperwork, to be honest. Paperwork is a nightmare. Everyone thinks it's a nightmare. And it's just simply, it simplifies it. And obviously, you want to put your logo up here as well. comes out a bit big but we can just shrink that down and you've got the logo on the invoice as well ready to send to the customer so that is a spreadsheet which you'll create for each customer every customer will have their own spreadsheet if you look then Abby Haynes has got her own, so you know exactly what materials you're going to use. As soon as she accepts it and pays like maybe the 10% or maybe the full price of the job, then you will know exactly what materials you're going to need. You've quoted for and what materials you're going to need to do the job, to turn up and get it done and maybe take full payment or you maybe already had it. But that is how you save a customer's contact details. Paperwork, it is a nightmare. So if anything, you can help to make it a lot easier. Yeah, I'd take that. Would you? So if you'd like to use this spreadsheet for your business to send it out quotes and invoices on auto and maybe able to send them out an invoice while you're sitting in your van outside or even it's still in the house, then check the link in the description below and you'll be able to get your hands on it quite easy. Until next time, I'll see you again. And for more tips on getting more customers and scaling your business as an electrician, check out the podcast, Toolbox Talks for Electricians. There's a plenty of help on there that help you gain back time, reduce stress and earn more money. And just a quick reminder, this does work on Microsoft Excel, but it works so much better on Google Drive. And if you leave it on Google Drive, then you can also send it straight to your customer from the comfort of your own van. Hello there, I want to give you a big warm welcome to Toolbox Talks for Electricians. My name is Ben Poulter, your host, and I've worked in the electrical trade from the age of 90 